that's not even the point. You should be ashamed because of yourself. Your, your reputation is you like to text underage girls. I'm the host. You invite yeah. me to your podcast. Uh, you get to ask the question. Uh, you know how I know who you, you know are. Like you like me because I disagree with you, Let man. Me tell you, we no, have no, too much of this. No, no, no. Let me tell you who you are, guy. Here's who you are. In this video, we are going to watch Patrick Bet David take on former U.S. politician Anthony Weiner. When I say former politician, he was forced to resign because he sent a photo of his Anthony Weiner to a 15 year old girl. And you are going to love this one because there is a lot of subtext here. And if you didn't know that Patrick Bet David is a complete savage by now, by the end of this, you will know. And you might think that he's giving him a very hard time, but what Patrick reveals at the end will tell you exactly why. Let's get into very uh, uh, eloquent on the way you defended Hillary Clinton on who she was when it comes down to politics. Are you still close to that family? Are I'm you not. OK, so who do you think between the two was a better politician? You think Bill's a better politician? Do you think Hillary's a better politician? I don't politician? think Hillary was a particularly good politician. OK, so she's a better strategist, you would say. She's more uh, strategic, she's, she's power. A, she, is, she is a classic blooming where she's potted kind of public official. That yeah. Everything that she has been given to do. I watched her, you know, as a as a rookie elected official coming to New York and become an amazing senator. Well, when we, you know, announce the fact that we're interviewing you, we, we, we kind of crowdsource with the audience what questions do you want to ask, and then our research team will go and say, hey, is there any credibility to this or not? And then we don't sure. waste our time. So, hey, we're having Anthony Weiner on. Great. So you have to ask him about uh, uh, frazzle drip. Go look it up. Oh, this video is a deep fake. No, no, a, any credibility to it on what happened with Cl you know, Hillary Clinton, whom on all this stuff? Nope, we're not going to ask him about that because I don't yet see a real source. A lot of it was stuff that, you know, conspiracy, all this stuff that's being said. We're not going there. Yeah, you need to ask him about Pizzagate because that's exactly what's going on with kids. Yeah, no, we're not going there. That's not something we're going to be asking him about. Yeah, you need to ask him about this and you need to ask him about this. I said, okay. All of these things that they said we have to ask you about. To be fair, it's uh, Bill Clinton officiated your wedding with Huma, Huma your wife, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. So you've been very close, and your wife, is it still wife or is it ex-wife? I think it's separated since 2017, we're, right? We're, we're separated. We, we, we co-parent Jordan, but we're separated. Okay. And, you know, she was a right-hand person to Hillary Clinton in 2016 while the scandal was taking place. For years so, before that, she's, yeah. she was with Hillary for, she's... 25, 20 years. And, and the whole thing with the life insurance, you know, the, the email, 650,000, the one folder with the word life insurance and the files that are in there. So the next thing that, that people said you, you got to ask him is the following. So, hey, you know, Rob, if you can pull up this story, I'm like, I'm not going to buy into this one. Well, nine out of 12 cops, NYPD, who saw the email and saw what was in that laptop, you know, committed suicide. And it was you know, seven of them since June, and it was the most ever that this took place, and these are the men that committed suicide. So then we went and looked it up, and we're like, no, uh, uh, they did commit suicide, but it wasn't linked directly to seeing the laptop or the intel there, no problem. So again, no credibility there, so there's no reason to ask you the question about the nine out of 12 cops that saw you it in You shouldn't NYPD. even be listing them and giving it oxygen. No, no my job is to listen, because I like to no, read- No, list them, you shouldn't be listing these yeah, yeah. things. Well, these things it, it are is what it is. destructive it's, people have actually are, these had are violence done these. These are conspiracy theories, these are conspiracy theories that All some that people- All that have books about them, though, right. I wouldn't recommend But the recommend one thing that, that we did look up that wasn't a conspiracy theory was the following. And th this is the one that's kind of weird. And, and first thing I ask myself is, how the hell uh, is our, our guy here Anthony Weiner still alive. What do you mean by that? Well, when you go through the list of people that have been close to Hillary Clinton and the Clintons and the Deadpool, this is not a conspiracy. You got the names of James McDougal, okay? Clinton's convicted Whitewater partner died of an apparent heart attack. You know, Mary Mahoney, a former White House intern, was murdered July 1997 at a Starbucks coffee shop in Georgetown. Ron Brown, he died in a, Vince in Foster, a plane crash. Vince Foster what is was this? in. Vince Foster was the next one. He, by the way, the, the James Dougal was a key witness in a, a key Ken Starr Ron investigation. Ron Brown was in a plane crash. Why is he on the list? Ron Brown is another one, but there was a close person to this. Victor Razor. You got Paul Tooley, Ed Woolley. Wait a minute. You're, you're reading a list of people that Bill and Hillary Clinton knew. You, they're 80, well, they're 70 but wait a something minute. years old. I'm asking you this question. Die. I'm asking you this question and an answer at the end. So you got Jerry Parks, Jane Bunch, oh, James man. Wilson, you're Kathy better, Ferguson, Bill Shelton, Candy Bow, Florence Powell. Martin, Susan Coleman, Paula Grober, Danny uh, Casolero, 
Paula Wilker, John uh, Parnell these names. Walker, Barbara Weiss. We should verify this yourself because you're, you're running a radio show. You should look it up. I Charles don't know Meisner, any of these Dr. Names, Stanley man. Heard, Barry Beal, Barry Seal, Here, can, Johnny Longhorn. Can you read me the URL Stanley you're reading? Begins. Can you read me the URL Herschel, you're reading? We'll send you the most credible no, no, source you can look it up. Let your listeners know what you're reading We'll put the link below. We'll put the link below. Just tell me so I know what I'm responding to. Herschel Friday, Kevin Ivey, Dan Henry, Keith Coney. What? And these were a, a, a part of the Ivy Henry case. Keith McCaskill. What's the Ivy Henry case? Uh, you can look it up. Ivy <laughs> Henry case. So Now, for those of you who are into this sort of thing, you'll know exactly what Patrick Bet David is talking about here. And I can't say too much on YouTube, but if you guys did want me to do a deep dive into the Clinton body count, then leave in the comments W Rumble and I will do a Rumble deep dive. But what this is in YouTube terms is a conspiracy theory about the truly Machiavellian nature of the Clintons. And as PBD alluded to here, many people over the years who were associates of the Clintons or who had some dirt on them ended up in body bags. And many of them, if you look into the cases, are extremely suspicious. Clear foul play that was ruled as self-deletion. And in some cases, it's brazenly obvious that the coroner got it wrong. And if this conspiracy theory were to be true, then it would almost be like this was a flex, a fear tactic to say to those who dare to cross them, don't even think about it. Or else it might be just another case of natural causes. And whilst, according to this theory, the Clintons have a higher body count than Charlie Sheen, the only number higher than this is the number of frequent flyer points that Bill Clinton racked up on Jeffrey Epstein's private plane. But this is probably all just a coincidence, and Jeff and Bill were most likely just talking about finance and playing a bit of mini golf on the island. But back to the topic now, and isn't it interesting how Mr. Anthony, middle name Kanashoyama, Wiener reacts to this topic. To say that he looks nervous would be a gross understatement. My man was simping for Hillary and Bill like his life depended on it. Back to the interview. Stillinthestorm.com. You can look it Still up. Stillinthestorm.com. You can this look it up. This is your big moment, guys. Yeah, so you, you can go. And by the way. Ads about chemtrails but, at the but, end of by, it. He hasn't even way. asked the question. By the he's way. just he, reading the article. He's reading, no, he's reading a list of names. So, he hasn't he even asked the question. Me. It's a list. The fact he's, that you're getting nervous is an answer. It's not okay? nervous. I just, this stuff Let makes me Sick it. when you repeat exactly. these makes ridiculous... Exactly, makes us sick as well. It also it makes us sick. It obviously doesn't. It of course, obviously because doesn't. the establishment you makes us sick. You start the question by reading a list of well Your reaction is an answer. Conspiracy. I know, these things make me sick and people have gotten killed. Your reaction is an answer. Someone went into a pizza yes. parlor in Washington because they believed this shit, and you're your, making an echo chamber. Your reaction is an answer. So let me go to it here now. No, no, so, no, no, so no, 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 no. Your reaction you're not gonna is read an a answer. List. Yeah, my reaction is my reaction. Yeah, exactly. Can you tell me what that list, in your view... You haven't allowed me to finish. If you allow me yeah, to finish the you're question, 46 then you can names do off the inter- whatever of, you of, want. Of some fucking insane mm. website. I love your answer. And these people, that- and these people who you don't even know who they are, you're reading them on a list of something, making some kind of incrim- in, 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 as if it's somehow suspicious. You don't even know who these human beings are, who have families, who are like out there. And now I'll you, spend and the you're next reading- two hours with you, one by one by one, explaining who you each of individuals fine, are if you want to do fine. that. How about you pick one? Pick one and tell me who he was and what his story was. Uh, no, 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 not you. You were asking me the question. Pick one name I and will. then tell me. Pull up Vince Foster if you want. No, go, Vince go. Foster, that suicide has been investigated 50 times. Pull yeah. up some, one of the obscure names you pulled. Yeah, you, Why did you pull Ron Brown? Hey, let me read Ron Brown. Ron Brown, a commerce secretary who, who a plane crashed while he was on a humanitarian mission, crashed in the side of a mountain. So what do you want to know about Ron Brown? What do you want to know about can Ron I, can, Brown? Can you let me ask the question? No, I, I, listen, this Wait, is a conversation. You, no, no, no. We're having a conversation. I'm sorry. I'm the host. You invite yeah. me to your podcast. You get to ask the question. I'm, I'm, I'm the host. This is, well, you, what, so, I'm going to ask you the question. You I, haven't I, let I, me answer I, the question. I, I didn't see Your the reaction is already an answer. I know. I am infuriated by people I who drag other why people's names who are powerless. I, You're not powerless. Hillary Clinton is powerless? Not, no, these people. Hillary Clinton is powerless. These people. That's the problem. These people. Hillary's the problem. You read a list of people because you have the power to do it. People who do that are bullies, and I don't appreciate bullies. I have the power to do what? You do. To read to a list what? of some strangers' names. I have the power to name. use the DOJ and other things to control That's and hide That's not things. DOJ. Yeah. DOJ me, didn't make this let list. Let me finish up some my question. Some jackass made a list in his basement. You have the right to You're answer. reading their names as if they're incriminating you in some way. You have the right to That's answer. That's bullying. And you I don't appreciate. And I, I stand up against bullies. Please do so. He hasn't You're, even asked the question yet, He's Anthony. reading a list and he's refused. And now he says, let's move on. No, no. Because I set your answer Nobody already. has said move on. He hasn't even asked the question. I don't even know what the question is. Pick a name. I'm going to ask you a question. 
reading a, and you get a to list of people who probably not answer. And there are some of those people that had military titles in front of them, exactly. and you're dragging their That's name. That's even through, the point. You're dragging their name That's through the even the, the point. You should be ashamed because of yourself. Because their families would want to know. Because you've got a podcast. Some of their you families would want to know. Some conspiracy theory podcast, uh, uh, a conspiracy theory oh, that nine people I read. You. you find some guy that comes in, and then you buddy. go you go from Ron Brown to some obscure officer yes. that used to protect Bill Clinton who passed away. May he, may be, may he rest in peace for his service. May all of them rest and in peace. You are dragging them into some may, wacky may conspiracy all of them theory. Peace. May all of them rest in peace. So here's the question for you. Because millions of people are not convinced Hillary Clinton is Again, a good person. Again, with the other people. Millions Including of people. Including myself. If you want to do yeah, that, yeah, I'm, put, not a, put the questions I'm not in your worried own. about Don't to Don't try to make it about some bozo so, who put up a website. Put so in your own words. Here's a question for you, Guy. It's a very simple question for you. So how is it, when you think about other candidates, Okay, everybody has a stereotype. You have a reputation whether you like it or not. What's your reputation? Your reputation is you like to text underage girls and you like to talk to girls and you sex sending pictures of your dangling. That's your reputation. Whatever you do, you can't do anything about it. Adam has a reputation. Adam is a playboy in Miami. You better get back to that he, list of strangers oh, uh, you trust read a list me, of. I'm getting back to it. Tom's got a reputation. His reputation is a man who And right loves now your reputation is listing and, strangers and who I, served in the I, military and I, dragging their names. I have the a dark. reputation to ask tough questions and piss some people like you off. That's and my including reputation. Dead, including dead people who I'm going to stand oh, up for. Oh, trust me. We are standing up for them more than you are let's standing say, up for them. Let's see. You better my get back to that list because question, we're going to clear some people's my, names today. My, Patrick Bet David is a complete savage. He is like Mufasa. And Valuetainment Studios is like Pride Rock. In case you misheard that there, he just said to Mr. Anthony, what's your Snapchat so I can send you my wiener, that he has a reputation and it is to text underage girls and show them his dingaling. Firstly, can we please all make a conscious effort to normalize the word dingaling in the common vernacular? Dangling. Dangling. But Patrick is so right that this man's reaction tells the story. He's not used to being questioned like this and being on a way turf because essentially what he is and what he has been throughout his career is a New York establishment elitist. And the way that he so quickly unravels and just cracks under pressure is truly astounding. The man has the poise of a 10 year old boy that has been told that he can't play Xbox for the week or that he can't have another slice of confetti cake. <laughs> And his body language and reactions are showing extremely high levels of stress in the face of this topic. He can't articulate a sentence. He's stumbling over his words. He's fidgeting. He's getting angry. He's weaponizing his water bottle. He's trying to bully and out Alpha Pat. He's dodging questions. He's speaking over Pat. And he's putting on this fake facade of being irate on behalf of of the families of the people mentioned. And if you guys ever watch those shows about the investigations of criminals and how they give away their guilt and what the detectives are looking for, then this guy would not even need a trial. And you can tell that Patrick would be relishing this moment because like I've said on this channel before, he's a trained body language expert and he would be seeing every little thing here. Pat would be sitting back thinking, this is too easy. I didn't even have to ask the question. My question for you is, how is it that in the last 50 years, we don't have a single candidate. Everybody has their own. Hey, John F. K. was a playboy with Marilyn Monroe. Trump, Karen McDougal, Stormy Daniels. You know, George Bush linked to 9-11 and weapons of mass destruction. Bill Clinton linked to Arkansas women, all this others. Everybody has a reputation. How is it that the reputation that follows them as people close to them die? Why right. is that a story that people, many people believe in? Why is how, that? Are the Clintons in their 70s yet? If I, you don't think I can make a list of other people who are 70 something years old and say this person died, how come that they person done died, that this person died? Hold on. How come they haven't done that with Bush? He's in the same, same I age. I have no freaking idea why they haven't, how come they haven't done, done that with hold Trump. Hold on a but so are you saying, so you agree with what how I'm saying? How come they haven't but done they, that with Reagan? So how come they haven't done that with Kerry? What point are you making about these men and women how who you listed? How is so many people close to them died? How is it so many people, people close, close to, to everybody dies? How is Are it you so suggesting 
Okay. I'm asking the question. You're is what asking I'm doing. a bizarre question. Exactly. Did it's people pissing die? You off. Did people die? No. What pisses me off, and I'm going to say what? this again because you apparently are not listening to me. You had a list yeah. of people off an obscure website that 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 of, of conspiracy theory, taking a Venn diagram of everyone that ever worked in the orbit of someone who served in public life for 50 years, and you listed them, including people in the military, including strangers you could not pull out of, a, and you are implying. Let me, let me that, simplify that there's something you, to fair. Let, let me finish my thought. Oh, let me finish my thought. Please do so because I got another let me finish my thought. in here for you. You're implying both yeah. with the question and with the website. The website says it explicitly. I you're implying you it. Website. Let me finish. Go ahead. You're Don't implying that until, something. Until he's you Don't are pull it up impli- until he's done. Go for it. You are implying that something nefarious is afoot both with the question yeah. and with the list. Hillary Clinton, she's a big girl. I'm a big boy. You're a big boy. The people that you just listed. They're all. Listen to me. No. These yeah. are obscure people that you could You're not pull out of. You're a great politician, buddy. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me, let me, Fantastic. Let me, you know what? You are, you are, you are the yeah. classic bully. You list someone's name. You are and the Are you going to go back and clarify anybody it? anybody that's the Are you going to go clarify You know what the are you gonna clarify of your personality this list? is. You want to really you know that. Ad hominem attack on me yeah. is going to somehow classic clear that bully. person's name? There isn't anybody at this table that's a bigger bully than I you. I tell you. Oh, yeah? You you just yeah. listed some stranger with, with Very PFC. Very good deceptive with PFC. way of pinning. Good Look for you, guys. You're reading some. Good for you. You're reading a conspiracy website. Good for you. Some people. People say, yeah. some people say, look at that Rob fucking I website. Just sent to you. Pull you, up the Wikipedia. Is you Wikipedia wanna, a conspiracy website? You want to no, 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 hey, take a run Wikipedia. at me? Bring it all day, pal. Yeah, no, hey, Bring it all day. Sweetheart. Take a run at me. Clinton not, body count. Do, conspiracy theory. Yeah. Right at the top. Wait, wait, can I throw a mic I can drop? Conspiracy, what's right the, at the what's top. The, what's the point with that? The point is conspiracy the point theories are by their very definition unsubstantiated. Yeah. How come other people don't have this conspiracy theory? How come Reagan doesn't have this conspiracy oh. theory? Oh, wait a minute. How Hold come it. Bush doesn't have News this conspiracy flash theory? News on the PDB podcast. How come John Kerry people doesn't have this conspiracy the theory? Oh, wow, oh. really? Why do they, though? Some of the stereotypes are true. Like, you have some reputation. It's true, some of it. Some of the stuff they say about other people that's is true. That's not a stereotype. That's a made-up story about oh, strangers. How come others don't have that made-up story? People have it all the time. No, Look no. at the internet. Give me another body count with another president or candidate. Give me do another person. Do you really think that someone pull within up, the Do me a favor do you and pull really up another think, Barack Obama body count. Do you really think... Oh, you go, 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 why don't you go to Barack Obama not born in this country? By yeah. the way, where was that podcast? Did the, you guys do that one? No. That's never why? anything we discussed. Oh, why? Oh, come on. So people say it. Anthony, there's a pod- there's a, there's, a, there's a Wikipedia yeah. thing on it. Huh. These people are strangers that you just read a list of, and I think out of deference to them. You're a dark human being, of, guy. Of, you're settle pretty down, dark. Pal, settle down. No, no, no. You're you pretty dark to take the out. angle you did. You're you should exactly. Cut, listen to me. Talk, you're talking to yeah, us yeah, now. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should cut that list out of those sure. people. Absolutely. We can still have the argument. You no, and I are big absolutely. boys. Cut that list I'm out. I'm not going to be cutting that list because the world That's needs. That's right. Here's what everybody yeah, needs. The to, world needs. You, that poor person's family that you can't even name. Exactly. That no. That some people say. What does it matter now? They're some dead. Some people say. Get rid of that part. He reckons. Yeah, right. And Pat also refers to him as a dark human being. And it's interesting because I think that what he's alluding to there is that many of the families of the victims and the alleged body count have actually come forward and said that their stories are being suppressed and that they've been silenced and coerced and intimidated in various different forms. And then Mr. Wiener over here wants to postulate on behalf of said families as if they would be so devastated about this. And hey, maybe some of them would, but... There would probably be a few out there as well who would be pretty relieved that this is finally getting a bit of airtime. So on to the last bit. And guys, if your boy Rattlesnake ever does go missing, just know that I'm a very happy guy. I would never do that and check for foul play. Going back to it, here's here's what you're doing right now, which is fantastic. You just influenced you that, a lot of people to go do their own due diligence. You just influence a lot oh, of people you can to go find, do their own due diligence. You can find utter dirt. No, you did find that, Find out pal. for yourself. No. I saw what you did by listing the the conspiracy theories you're not going to ask about. I'm not going to ask what you about did. those things. I'm sorry, that was dishonorable. Yeah, that's, which part's dishonorable? The list of conspiracy theory you know is bullshit, but still putting yeah, it but, out but there. This thing, this thing, there's a lot of uh, I think credibility people, sources people behind this. People want bullshit. It's not true. Look yeah. at what you had to cite. I, cite any, any, any media that you would ever read in your day-to-day life for that. Cite yeah. anything. Go call one of those people. You still have can't one answer of, questions, Have can one you? of your produ- No, you make a point now and respond to it. Have one of your producers call up one of those families and tell them if they want to be listed oh, in one of these the conspiracy podcasts. You're so, you're so sweet for saying that. This, you're so sweet for playing this deceptive game. 
I got to tell you from watching you for Have the you last. Do uh, that. Uh, uh, I got to tell you. I know from, this is not what you're the, used to, the, man. I'm sorry. I actually, it's funny. I texted with someone. Should I give them what they're used to, or should I, whatever? And they said just whatever. You know how you I know who you were the moment you walked here. You know how I knew who you, you were like when you walked in here? You don't like because I disagree with you, Let man. Me tell the, we no, have no, too much of this no, 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 no. Let me tell you in who the, you are, guy. Media, Here's who you, you are. This is good this media. Is, this You're is, getting good content. This is, this, is, this is who you are. You walk up here and you said, what's your name? I'm sorry. I, I, I and, shouldn't, and, I shouldn't you, have done no, that. No, 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 no. You said, what's your name? And uh, then you say, I call my friends to say, should I give these guys this? You know the name, you know the show, but no, you're no, the no, no. I was trying to find if you use your whole first like, name. Hey, so it's like the I, player. I apologize. What's your name? Because I apologize. You're above everybody no, else no, no, as an elitist. I, I apologize. You position yourself as an elitist I didn't from know the first if you second, used... and I was willing to give I, you a fair shake. I apologize. You walked up as an asshole, no, and no, boom, no. that's what you're I getting. I apologize. I yeah. apologize. I didn't know if you used the shortened version of your name. I should have researched that. No, no, you didn't say that. You said, "What's your name?" I know, but to see if you would give me a hint about what you said. People do it with me when I do Tony or Anthony. I got a good memory like you do, guy. You said, "What's your?" Name. I said Patrick. Then you ask, do you prefer Pat or Patrick? That's a, if you knew my name is be... Patrick, you would have eliminated one of the questions and you would have asked. So the point is, and by the way, I was here's hoping you'd identify yourself. I, I identify I, 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 myself right, I as apologize. a male, as a father, as an entrepreneur. I apologize. But go back to your question. I apologize. From, do, you, do you accept my amends? From, I apologize. Sure, I respect I the apologize game. for that. But the point I'm making to you is if you come in like that and I'm asking you a question, you react You're to reading you too do. much into it. You're reading too much. I apologize for that. That was socially wrong yeah. of me to do. I was trying to learn whether you go by Pat or Patrick. I apologize. I could have asked one of your men. I could have asked people. Boom. There you have it. You don't walk into Mufasa's kingdom like that and ask him what his name is because he has dealt with many hyenas just like you in his time. And I just love that part because you can so imagine this highfalutin New York City elitist walking into the peasant Valuetainment studios and trying to big dog Pat. And Pat just thinking to himself, okay, Mr. Anthony, here's a pick of my little wiener. If that's how you want to play, let's do this. Safe to say he won't be coming back on the show anytime soon. So guys, if you did make it this far and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to chuck a thumbs up, help me out with my algorithms. And also if you're new here, subscribe to the channel.